and welcome to Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. This is a podcast series where I sit down with industry professionals and chat about what's going on in the world of logistics. In this episode, we get to chat with Crane Worldwide Logistics Director of EMEA, Cruise, Marine, and Hospitality, Andreas Schwertfeger. Welcome to Coffee with Crane, Andreas. Hi, Joseph. Pleasure to be here. My absolute pleasure. Let's get to know a little bit more about you, my friend. Tell us something about yourself that most people don't know. Uh, what, what, what most people don't know, Joseph, is that I cannot sing very well, but I love karaoke. So that is a really, really uh, critical combination, as you can imagine. So uh, at home, we shut the doors, we close the windows, and then we start singing with the friends and families. But yeah, I love it, but I can't do it very well. That's that's very brave of you. I, uh, I've often heard, if you can't sing well, sing loud. I don't know exactly, that... exactly, Joseph. Awesome. Well, let's get down to business, sir. The cruise, marine, and hospitality vertical seems to be very complex to me, and I'm sure to others. Oh, what types of clients do we find within this area? Yeah, it is very complex, Joseph, and uh, there are clients from uh, different industry segments uh, besides cruise lines, ship owners, ship managers, and hotel chains. You find suppliers of technical spare parts, consumables, food and beverages, interior outfitters, the chemical industry, the whole consumer and retail industry. So if we are talking about the cruise marine and hospitality vertical, we could even talk about uh, horizontal because it is touching so many different industries. We'll just call it a sunburst because it touches a lot of areas. Indeed, indeed, yeah. That's fascinating to me. It really is. Now, uh, with regards to marine logistics specifically, uh, what do you think is needed from a logistics provider to be recognized as a player in this particular market? I think what is very important, Joseph, and this is what I experienced in my past 35 years in the in the industry, uh, you need to have the right mindset and understanding of the specific industry requirements. I mean, vessels are characterized as moving targets, so customers demand responsiveness, proactiveness, a keen sense of urgency, and on-time delivery is a key metric here. So there is no second chance to supply a vessel because the vessel is gone the next day. Uh, Schedules are very uh, unpredictable, so it needs a high level of flexibility to deal and to uh, work within this market, especially if we are talking about deliveries to tanker vessels or to other vessels as well. So it sounds like you need uh, quite a great deal of mental acuity to follow all these moving targets. That's that's a a heck of a talent you've got there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Joseph. Now, since you're based in EMEA, what are uh, some key locations for that industry over there? Yeah, the key locations uh, in EMEA region are the main shipping countries like Germany, Italy, the UK, the Netherlands, but also the Nordics, where a lot of suppliers are based, are a very important market for the maritime industry. And Crane has an excellent network in all the key areas in EMEA to serve them. And uh, by the way, Joseph, uh, did you know that we have just opened uh, a new warehouse in Amsterdam supporting the maritime industry? I saw an article about that recently in our Knowledge Center. That's really, really good news. Yeah, and we are very proud of this, yeah. That whole region has been throughout world history, throughout time, has been critical in shipping and trade and logistics. So it's it's got a very absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a core market in the in the whole worldwide industry. Now, as we all know, the COVID nineteen saga has presented us with many challenges around the world. And how has it impacted the marine industry? Well, it has impacted the industry heavily, as many other industries as well, obviously. Ports have been closed due to quarantine periods in order to ensure the well-being of the workers. Uh, There was a ban of marine vessels into certain countries, uh, which has demanded such vessels uh, to be on the water for weeks or even months. The health authorities declined an import or export of goods into those countries and very various kinds of disputes between owners, charters of vessels due to loss of time and money. Uh, and last but not least, there was a, a very difficult situation and a very challenging situation around crew changes 
because of travel restrictions and uh, a lot of smaller companies engaged within the maritime industry have gone bankrupt due to less demand and cargoes and shipping. That's a shame. It really is. It's really. Indeed, yeah. Now, earlier you mentioned working with a keen sense of urgency. What are the key values or products that Crane Worldwide Logistics provides to clients in the maritime industry? Yeah, Crane is focusing on many services within the maritime industry, Joseph. Uh, besides these uh, standard products like uh, air, ocean, road or warehousing, we are arranging urgent spare parts through our time critical department, as well as uh, charter flights if needed. Uh, we work on dry docks, having our own personnel on site, coordinating all the incoming flows of goods with authorities, with the shipyards, uh, with uh, the shipping lines and so on. And we are also offering vendor consolidation programs in Europe through our own warehouse, providing end-to-end -end visibility. Furthermore, we have very good capabilities in areas uh, where not everybody is present. We store and uh, distribute, for example, chemicals uh, from hubs in South Africa and Turkey to all kinds of vessels, to tanker vessels, bulker vessels, container vessels and cruise vessels. And we have an excellent network in uh, West Africa and also in countries like Malta, Scotland, Dubai, and the whole Middle East is emerging in these days as well. I think if you ask me what is our biggest value, I think the biggest value we have is, is trust of our clients. And uh, we are going the extra mile. We are taking care. And I think our clients appreciate and respect this. Now, I want to touch on something else real quick. I've only been on one cruise in my life, and I would really like to go on another one. Look into your crystal ball for us. Just give us your best guess. When do you think that industry is going to open back up uh, in, in a healthy way? Ships are coming back slowly now, and it will definitely take uh, quite some time until they are fully up to speed again. Uh, but we see some very good signals. And also with the ongoing progress of the vaccination around the globe, I think the cruise lines will come back very soon. And we are there to serve them once they are back. That's what I like to hear now. If you and I ever end up on a cruise together, we'll definitely do karaoke, all right? Oh my God, don't quote me on this. Now everybody <laughs> knows. I'll even let you pick the song. <laughs> yeah, indeed. This has been a lot of fun for me, Andreas. Thank you so much for sharing your time and wisdom with us today. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks again. And thank you, dear listener, for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe to Coffee with Crane on your favorite podcast player. And be sure to like, share, and comment. It really does help out a whole lot. So until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now. <laughs>